Hello, grade six, and welcome back to KIS Online. This is our unit five, week four, part three. And this will be our last part of this week's lesson. Our title for unit five, the greatest invention. And this is our week four. And this is our part three, our last part. Again, I welcome you to unit five, week four, part three. So now we have more words practice. So there are words inside the box and you have to identify the correct words to fill in. And for this activity, it's a total score of 18 points. Are you ready? All right. So in number one, uh, I mean, question number two, we have words here inside the box. Silicon, blades, generator, energy, and so on. And then we have to read the article or story, and then you have to fill in. Again, you can post this video and you can start answering. All right, now we will read and answer. Number two, we skip number one. So now we go to number two directly. Alessa Masuku is a teenager from South Africa. She won an important science prize when she found a new renewable source of energy called the Marula and not that grows in her area. So number one's answer is renewable. We put renewable here. Let's move on. When marula nuts are put on a fire, they become like coal. This marula coal can be used instead of, what's your answer? Like wood. Right? your answer okay the correct answer is fossil fuels one day there won't be much wood or coal left so palace's project will change the lives of the people there that's answer number two let's go on with the next story william kamkwamba from kenya was 14 when he made a windmill. For the blank, he used parts of old farm machines and vehicles. Number three, what's your answer? Blades. He made, he used parts of old farm machines and vehicles. He used a car battery to make the Blank. Number four, what's your answer? Generator. He used a car battery to make the generator. The windmill produced electricity for his family to use on their farm. Let's go on to the last story. Number five, six, and seven. So we got three more answers left. A new plane has been invented. Wow. It doesn't need to fly. Instead, big solar. What's your answer for number five? Panels, which are made from number six. What's your answer? Silicon. Use the sun to generate number seven, energy. All right, so that's it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've now got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve points. Let's go to number three. 
I have here four sentences and four terms inside the box. One is given out as an example. Verb. Verb, number, num, number one, to do exercise to improve health. Workout, no need to check. So you have to choose between run out, engineer, or fashion designer. So again, every correct answer, give two points. Every wrong answer, give a point. So number one, the answer is workout, no need to check. So you have to answer number two, three, and four. Okay, let's go to number two. You can pause this video and then write down your correct answer. Number two, it's a verb, meaning to use so that there isn't any left. What's your answer? Ran out, ran out. Number three, it's a noun. A person who builds machines. What's your answer? Engineer, an engineer. And lastly, a noun. A person who thinks of ideas for new clothes. And that's a fashion designer. Again, for number two, ran out. Number three, engineer. And number four, fashion designer. For question number two, we've got 12 points. For question number, number three, we've got six points. So all in all, 18 points. Okay. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 points all in all. How many points have you got? Post your name with your score on our grade six English online group. Again, don't forget to post your name with your score on our grade six English online group. All right, and that's the end of our week four lessons remember we have part one part two and part three again i want you to be ready next week will be our exam week see you next week god bless everyone and bye bye